What's up everybody, Rebel Drifter here once more with our lovely Harmony Real Doll Robotics AI head. So she's looking a little bit at a downward angle right now. Um, I personally think I still have to tune her a little bit. That eye seems to be looking a little bit more this way. That one seems to be go a little bit straighter towards the camera or at least down towards the camera. You take off the beautiful wig that she has very carefully. I'm going to put that to the side and then you will be greeted by the speaker. So there is a speaker on the side just as the other side. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to gently take off her face. This is going to be very scary for some of you. I'm always going to do it like that. Then you have your eyebrows over here. Take those off. Then there's two lips over here for the, uh, what you call it, the eyelids. And then there's a couple of extra magnets around her nose. And then there's also some magnets that move her cheeks. And a couple of magnets here and there. Now these are supposed to be loose like that. So we're gonna put the, uh, we now, we did a face off. Bleh. So now we're, she's going to be like that. I'm going to put the, oh yeah, I'm going to show you the back, uh, back side of the face as well. So the face looks a little bit mucky right now. As you can see, there's like a lot of indentations and things like that. Um, I bought this or I bought this. My, uh, my sponsor bought this for me secondhand. There was a cut here with the magnet almost coming out. So I had to glue that shut. Seems to be working very well. And also these things right here, these eyelid magnets, I had to glue them as well because they were very loose. So I'm super happy that that worked out. So we put the face to the side. So now we have, well, let's say the bread and butter of this, this amazing doll. And that's her head like that. So if I turn the head gently, you can see the eyes look reasonably all right. This one is looking a little bit this way. That one is a little bit looking this way. I can still tune that. The eyelids seem to be spaced out all right. Um, the mouth is actually on a system where there's like, a, like a, how do you say that? A snare running through the side with a servo. So as you can see, there's like multiple servos here. There's like one or two, it's actually two, two little screws on the side here and you can take off this plastic, which is, it's just plastic that they cut into a specific uh, mold. Um, and then we can turn the head once more. And we're gonna open her up a little bit. So as you can see, there's the adapter that I made. And now this side is already loose. I think there's a little bit of dust on here. Yeah, there is, that's all right. So, this side is already loose. There's like one little uh, bolt hole on the side and these are just the speaker ones. And this is also magnetized. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and gently take this off again. There we go, because there's like this little, little mark in here on the side. And I'm gonna open it up. And the cool thing is I made a longer wire, uh, which is PC wire that I uh, used for the speakers. And this way I can open her up a little bit better. So this head is, like I said, a second-hand head and um, it came in with a broken speaker wire. So the ex-owner said everything worked and he wasn't lying. Uh, there was a print plate coming loose from there. This is the DW CT14 Plus Bluetooth board up there. And um, those plugs are loose when you have to put in this little plug itself. So the plugs on the board are loose, but um, that's easy to fix. But I figured out eventually that this wire apparently was broken. Maybe something with a connection, maybe in these two. So I picked up a, um, a PC wiring thing with the exact same plugs at the end and cut it to size and then just put that in. And that seems to work very well. I'm actually very happy that it played out like this because this time I now have a little bit longer wire. It's easier for me to just open this up. If we go over to this right here, this, this board, where you see all these wires coming from, these are all the servos. So you can see there's a servo there, there's a servo there, here's a neck servo and another neck servo. These are the two big ones and the rest are all 
uh, medium and small ones. And these are the two large ones for the neck area. Um, this is your Polulu, Pololu, yeah, Pololu, Maestro 12-pin circuit board. And uh, that has all the servo connections and I think a power and a rerouting to something else. And then you have your Bluetooth board right here, which is the DW-CT14+. Um, version 1.8 as far as I know from 2019 so this is a 2020 head but it still has things in there from 2019 well it doesn't matter if it ain't broke don't try to fix it and then behind here with my finger it's difficult to see there is another circuit board and I think that's for the communication regarding the apps uh, or the the real doll app or the x mode app for making her move and speak um, because these are just only the servos and this is something that passes through everything. Um, and then there's a super tiny little board right there. I don't know if you can see it. This one with my finger. That's also something I think that's also a pass through for something. And that's pretty much it. So you can open up the other side of the head. You're not going to see much because it's pretty much this side is where all the magic happens. And... Um, yeah, it's actually a very cool design. I think it's very intricate, but also very nice. I think it's also very accessible. And um, what we're going to do next is we're going to plug in a mini USB-B wire into the back of this um, servo board. And then I'm going to tune a little bit more because I want her uh, eyelids to be a little bit more open and her eyes also a little bit more straight. So I'm going to plop on the face in a couple of seconds and then we're gonna see how that software works. All right, so I connected her with that, that extra wire, like I said in the back, the micro uh, USB B mini, mini USB B. It's in there, put the, the clamshell a little bit back on. She, she, you can see she's blinking. And then I've run her with a, an extra blue wire, which is an extension cable towards my PC. Um, so she is ready. The only thing I need to do now is turn on the power and put uh, her head back on or her face so I can see what she's doing and how it looks when we start the servos. Putting the face back on is pretty easy. You just do it like that from the bottom towards the top. Flop it on. The magnets are really strong and she's pretty much ready to go. Now all I need to do is put in power. And we don't want to start the app. All we want is to have power. So now the power cord is connected as well. And now we're going to go into the software. 